have a proposal. Why don't we try a more advanced sandbox? However long you want to play this game, and whatever tricks you try to pull, I'll happily play along. <gasps> Miss Jingtre! Use your free will to guide the Ingenium out of the sandbox. Let's begin. Lead the Ingenium to the exit. Show me how many choices destiny gives you. Sure, the Master Diviner would say. Destiny only has one path. Your choices are just a predetermined solution to the puzzle. Actually, I don't think I agree. Master Diviner, let's reset the sandbox and give it another go, shall we? Again? Do it all over again exactly as it was? You can try it a million times over, and a million times over it is doomed to the same fate, because there is only one path. <laughs> I see what you're thinking, Ching Chue. You're an interesting one. Ching Chue, I've been thinking through the calculations for this puzzle. There really is only one solution. This maze was designed by Caroloom. It's no use. There aren't any other solutions. As long as we're playing this so-called game of destiny, we can't win. No, there's a second choice. There will always be another choice. Mr. Trailblazer, quick, say something to persuade her. Ready to begin? Of course there's another solution to this sandbox. Listen to my idea. You're all gonna help, right? Miss Chingtre, I don't know how you're planning to solve the puzzle, but I'll support this squad to the end. Count me in. I'm sure Miss Chingtre has something up her sleeve. If we can help, I'm in. I only need two people for my plan to work. Destiny only has one path. Your choices are just a predetermined solution to the puzzle. Go stand in the sandbox. Right about that spot over there. Next, Judge Huoho, you stand on the other side of the room. And stop shaking. All right, we're ready. And now the second path appears. Let's begin. Lead the Ingenium to the exit. Show me how many choices destiny gives you.
is the other solution. The alternative choice. I created a new solution. Master Diviner, you're not the only one who can design a puzzle. And I don't tread the path of destiny alone. <laughs> you think that by calling on your companions for help, you created a new path out of thin air? You're just playing with semantics. I could weave a thousand routes for you, but they lead to the same destination. So what significance is there in having a choice? Creatures like you don't understand humans. The universe is like jade tiles on a game table. When the tiles are shuffled, the outcome is already predetermined. Which tiles can be played? Which tiles are left over? What kind of hand the person next to you is trying to make? All of these can be determined through calculations. But if everything is just a calculation, the game loses its flavor. Randomness and adaptability, ambushing your opponent, twists and turns, the balance of the elements. It's a mix of calculations, unknowns, and loss of complete control that makes Celestial Jade the kind of game it is. And those are the same things that give life its color and vibrance. Do my choices at the game table mean nothing if I have a sure loss in front of me? No! The choices are what make the game meaningful in the first place. Even if I lose, I'll still make choices to lighten the loss. Just like the Master Diviner is making choices for her own agenda. You were right when you said that as Master Diviner, you must comb through the complex threads of destiny day after day, all for the preservation of this giant ship. In this vast universe, a game where there are only losers. Our Master Diviner is making endless choices, fighting against the odds just so the Lawful can travel safely for another day. <laughs> In my book, she's the best player there is. Why would someone as talented as the Master Diviner go through the trouble of making endless choices if the end result is predetermined? Heliobus, you cannot fathom the joys of humanity. You are imprisoned by the illusion of destiny, unable to free yourself. And you want everyone who peeks into the future to suffer the same pain as you. You don't understand humans at all. Don't let them trick you, Fu Xuan! Don't push me away! Don't let her word fool you! I see through your trickery! Yes, I see through every bit of it! I'm going to lose! Victory is beyond my reach! Why? Why is there no alternative? Everything in this universe is predetermined! No, I... I have no path! Relax. Looks like somebody needs a doctor. The applause. Opponent worth their salt. <laughs> Let's see some sparks fly. <laughs> Good times never last. Time to say bye. Boom. We're 
just having fun. <laughs> what are you waiting for? The customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. I could take you one arm only. <laughs> Time to show you. What's in your prescription? Keep patching me up. Look, listen, feel, kick. Sampo Koski always takes care of his friends. Try this on for size. Just a small headache, nothing more. It's normal to experience some discomfort after being possessed by a heliobus, but nothing a few medicinal pellets can't take care of. Uh, is that Carolum? <laughs> they may not be the most powerful fragment, but becoming entangled in their illusion can lead to endless despair. Hurry! Just hurry up and... See me in the darkness. I've foreseen what happens next. You're going to imprison me. Ching Jue. Thanks to you, the Divination Commission is safe again. No need to thank me, Master Diviner. By the way, while you were possessed, you fired me from the commission. So... that counts, right? I'll have to ask you to give me written notice that my contract's been unilaterally terminated. Then, with all the years I've spent in the Divination Commission, I'll be able to get a great severance package! And I already planned what to do with all the money. I'm gonna open a gaming parlor, hire a couple of workers to run it, and spend the rest of my days living off the profits. I'll have started a new life without having lifted a finger. <laughs> Are there two Ching Chues? Uh, I see. <clears throat> what a pity. I don't recall anything I may or may not have said while possessed by the Heliobus. In any case, Ching Chue, why are you still here? Shouldn't you be on duty back at the repository? Huh? M Master Diviner, you can't back out now! Of course I can. After all, there are always choices in life. You taught me that. <sighs> I can't convince real you, let alone possessed you. Master Diviner, you should get some rest. I'm gonna go take a br- I mean, get back to work. My actions today brought great shame on the Divination Commission. Hmm. I shall have to think of a way to keep her from talking. <laughs> Just kidding. Heliobi are good at finding people's weaknesses and exploiting them. Everyone has some kind of weakness. You're not to blame. That's right. You were just a victim of the Heliobus's trickery, Diviner Fu. No need to blame yourself. I must express my sincere gratitude to all of you for your help. Apologies, but the Divination Commission is in disarray at the moment. I must return and set things in order. I'm afraid I cannot see you off in person. Wait! There's something we need to ask you. What is it? Mm, 
I agree that the Master Diviner gets possessed wouldn't make for a good headline. I don't care how you spin the story, so long as you leave my name and identity out of it. things to attend to. Please allow me to save my thanks for another day. We won't delay you any longer. We need to go to Victual Garden and seal Carolum away. Hmm, it seems that your operations have met with some success. I've been browsing through some of the stories on Ghostly Grove myself. They make for good reading. As the saying goes, serious divination concerns serious matters. It is inevitable that someone performing divination day in and day out for the Sienjo would acquire inner demons, and Heliobus can take advantage of those. Fortunately, with your help, Fu Shren prevailed over her intruder. Do you enjoy listening to storytellers and watching immersion? In both cases, tales have a predetermined ending. But you shouldn't let that stop you from enjoying them, should you? The same is true of life. Whether the end is predestined or not, it's worth living. Very well, then. Miss Hanya is waiting for you by the suppression towers. On behalf of the Ten Lords Commission, I commend you for your great service in resolving the Divination Commission crisis. I will honor all of you before the Ten Lords. Thanks, Madam Hanya. But, uh, we really couldn't have defeated Carolyn without Miss Chintre's help. I didn't realize that one as skilled as Diviner Fu would also be susceptible to the power of the Helio Bai. That said, I can understand her plight. After all, we're all moving forward on our own unseen paths in no uncertain terms. Judges are instructed by the Ten Lords to carry out their orders, but no one ever explains their meaning to us. Just like the Master Diviner, no matter what cruel and horrible paths she foresaw, as long as it benefited the Lofu, she had to make a choice. Those choices may be correct and far-sighted, but we are, after all, flesh and blood, and we cannot help but agonize over the process of making them. Madam Hanya? I apologize. I was getting carried away. I think all the paperwork must have worn down my mental acuity. Today's business is finished. Please get some good rest. Right. Let's call it a day. And you too, Judge Hanya. Don't work yourself to death. It's finally time to get back to bed. Goodbye, everyone. Wee!